Hey guys, this is Tucker from Electric Cycle Rider, and this is a 1967 Honda CT90, also known as a Trail 90, and it's commonly regarded as the best motorcycle ever made. Now the reason you hear this bike being called the best really boils down to the bike's versatility and reliability. Whether it's on the ranch or on the farm, you'll find the Honda Trail 90 a big help. Takes you over all kinds of terrain. It's the ideal bike for hunters and fishermen, too. No wonder the Honda has become the most popular trail machine in the country. Honda, world's biggest seller. Now, obviously, this is a very handsome bike, but calling it versatile and reliable doesn't quite explain it. Specifically, what is it about the CT90 that makes it so popular and adored by so many to this day? To put it plainly, it's a simple machine. It came with a quiet and bulletproof air-cooled 89cc four-stroke engine. The bike comes in at a dry weight of 179 pounds, so it's easy to handle. It's got a low center of gravity and a step-through frame. It's the type of bike you can easily load in your truck or camper and head out for the weekend. Being that this is 50 years old, these bikes are really hard to come by. Now, there are rumblings that Honda will be bringing this bike back in the form of a CT125. And as much as we love gas bikes, there is a very interesting option if you want all of the great attributes of this bike, but in an electric platform. It's the Ubco 2x2, and it's a two-wheel drive, hub-powered electric bike. It weighs less than the CT90 at 144 pounds. It's got the same step-through frame style, and because the battery sits so low in the frame, it has a very low center of gravity as well. One big attribute of the CT90 was how quiet it was. I mean, this thing is really quiet. Just, I'll stop talking so you can listen. Doesn't get much quieter than that. That's the real beauty of these hub drive motors is you don't have a chain or sprockets. And it makes the bike really, really quiet. Can hardly hear this thing. So Honda marketed the CT90 originally to farmers and ranchers, folks that hunt and fish and camp, just general outdoorsy people. I would say that the Upco 2x2 fits all of those same bills. It's got ample storage and tie down options so you can carry a ton of gear out to wherever you're going and whatever you're doing. It's really easy to throw in the back of your truck or on a trailer. It just really checks all the same boxes that Honda was trying to check when they originally came out with the CT90. And in a lot of ways, I feel like I am riding a Honda CT90, but one from the future. Admittedly, this bike is very different from pretty much any bike I've ever owned, but I see the beauty in this thing. If you're trying to rally down some single track, then no, it's not really designed for that. It's got a top speed of 30 miles an hour, and I really don't have a problem with that. It's just, you don't need to go any faster than 30 miles an hour on this thing supposed to be a casual bike. So if I had to pick one word to describe the Epco 2x2, I think I would just say versatile. It's just a bike that you can kind of do everything with. I'm out here on a 4x4 trail out in the backcountry, and the bike just feels right at home here. And it's street legal, so I've taken it around town, 
taken it out and gotten groceries, run some errands, go out to eat. And it just kind of does all of that stuff really well. The whole time that you're riding it, whether you're on road or off road, it's a pretty casual experience just because it's so easy and comfortable to ride. It's got a really comfortable seat. It's got a low center of gravity. It turns really easy. It gets traction. It's so quiet, so it feels really unobtrusive. It's just a pleasure to ride this thing. I really like the display on this bike. Uh, it gives you a really good readout of your battery life, your speed, the temperature of the motors, which I think is a really beneficial feature to have. You know, it is common for hub drive motors to overheat, so it's really nice that you can keep an eye on the temperature of those. And if you're running it really hard and getting it hot, uh, you can monitor that. And that's a really nice feature that the 2x2 has. This has got to be one of the most laid back trail riding experiences I've ever had. It's so quiet, it's so peaceful, it's just kind of relaxing. I'm not trying to go as fast as possible down the trail on this thing, it's not what it was designed for. It's designed to get you out into the backcountry and bring all your gear with you. And that is something that it does really well. The CT90 never really went out of style. Honda just stopped producing them. Their scarcity is a result of 41 years of halted production, and their faithful owners have coveted their rare machines for decades. Honda will likely bring this bike back in a modern platform, and I don't doubt it will also be a great bike. But if you're like me, and share a love for the multifaceted identity of the CT90, but also embrace the new offerings of EV technology, then do yourself a favor and give the Ubco 2x2 a look. I don't think you'll be disappointed.